asking to be there for when she gave birth. I'm thinking, why is she asking me? Or maybe it's because I work for UPS and great at delivering packages. But delivering a baby is a whole different ball game. But, <coughs> excuse me. Let me start again, sorry. So recently, my boyfriend asked me to be there for her when she gave birth. I'm thinking, why is she asking me? Or maybe it's because I work for UPS and great as a little packy. But delivering a baby is a whole different ballgame. But I said I'd be there because I thought she was going to pay me. <laughs> I thought it was going to be simple. She gives birth, goes home the same day. So when she got to the hospital, she texted me to come. But I was playing my football and I figured I still got time. It wasn't even half time yet. <laughs> Three hours later, she texted me again. Oh my God, it's third and 12. I'm trying to get a first down. Just calm down, sheesh. But I told her I was cunning. So I played Madden football from that, from that hour. So when I got to the room, she was so pregnant. I'm like, seriously, are you kidding me? Why'd you text me? I couldn't play that again. This baby was making me mad already. So hours later, nothing was happening, and I took a nap. And I woke up to an exorcism. The walls were shaking, and horror frame screams were coming from the next room. What was I getting into? I didn't sign up for this. My mom told me where babies come from, but she didn't tell me about that. Now I know why. So it was time for her to give birth, and I had to home until late because the surgery was broken. As she was pushing, I had to hold on really hard. I was telling myself, is this over yet? I need to go home for a scandal. <laughs> so after 10 minutes of her pushing and kicking me with that leg, I said enough. I finally had enough. And I wasn't even at work. So I went to the front of the bed, just stared at the window, thinking about my next football game. I'm thinking about my next play. So if I throw a slant to my receiver to get a touchdown, I can win the game. And at that moment, the baby came out. So <laughs> I went back to my happy place, Bedmall, Tequila Isle. <laughs> so much commotion and screaming and ugly nurses. I definitely need a drink, even if it was in my mind. She says, I'm never doing this again. And I said, me neither. And now I know what your vagina looks like. You should apologize to me and everyone in this room. I'm never having kids. So that's when I started drinking at the a lot. But most of my friends have kids, and I notice they're always stressing out. Like, some parents shake their kids, I chase jello shots. Some parents have to wash their kids while they're playing ball. I'm playing baseball on my phone, and I don't even have to feed it. Some parents have to tell their kids to go to bed at a certain time. I go to bed at 2 a.m. in the morning after I stop drinking. Not on purpose, but at some point, you just got to stop drinking. You either run out, pass out, or your body says, time out. The party is over. Good night, Bernadette. Thank you. <laughs>